Hi, I'm Jake. What? Where? Dear Jake, I can't make it for today's episode, spending Thanksgiving with the family. See you next week, Christine. Well, now who am I do the show with? Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Marlon. A.K.A. Guy, and thank you for filling in for Christine this week. Glad to. I think this is your first appearance on this show, and today we're going to be looking at the trailer for the Coen Brothers' very first film, Blood Simple, from 1984. Blood Simple is a pretty interesting and kind of non-conventional thriller. It was the debut of not only the Coen Brothers, but their longtime collaborator and wife of Joel Coen, Frances McDormand. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's jump. So, what did you think of the trailer for Blood Symbol? Well, it surely gives you a lot of insight on the darkness of the film, number one. Number two, they did not give away much of the plot. They really didn't, as far as how it be how the film works out. And so I think it was probably a pretty good trailer. Someone who likes to have a mystery and some action, this will attract them. I've got a job for you. It's in reference to that gentleman and my wife. I agree in that sense, and I like how at the beginning they set up um, the basic plot. A uh, man finds out his wife is cheating on him, and he hires a guy to kill her and her boyfriend. And then we get the big montage that doesn't show what the plot is after that, but shows that shit's going down. It's with the montage that my thoughts on the trailer are a little mixed because it is a good montage and it's got a good almost uh, horror techno music score to it. But at the same time, they showed so many clips from big uh, spoiler moments near the end. I mean, they didn't provide context, but they clearly show some of the main characters in uh, death or... Uh, dying moments. Well, for me that wasn't a problem because I'm just assuming people are watching this on the big screen and they have, they're waiting for the feature to come along and they're probably watching several of these in a row. I think it, I, I don't think it gives away anything, but it certainly doesn't show what these big moments actually mean. Perhaps, but at the same time, having seen Blood Simple, I see that a lot of those are from the final act. So, uh, this makes me think, um, maybe showed a little too much in that regard. <laughs> well, from the master. <laughs> Regardless, it was a well done trailer, and I loved how they had that quote from Hitchcock. Started out with Hitchcock, and um, ultimately, I think, I mean, this, this is the film where they made their mark. Yeah. And well, 
this film and their next film, Raising Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were, they are unique in in many ways and highly talented. Um, and I think this would be the kind of thing that would draw people in. I want to see this movie. Yeah, I agree. It would draw them in. And the Coen brothers, they are just, they're masters of mixing suspense and comedy. And like I said, next to Francis McDormand, this film also had some great performances by Dan Hedaya and M. Emmett Walsh. Who you see there is the uh, bald, fat, kind of sleazy looking uh, chain smoker. Well, give me the away. He plays one of the uh, most evil villains you'll see in an 80s film. He's a bad man. Coen brothers are good at having bad men in their movies. Yep. Last thing I'll say, once again, uh, the music I thought was really good. Had a good tempo, good beat to it. Yes. Really puts a sense of uh, unease in you. Very much so. Let you know something's happening. Something's going to happen. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. And thank you for joining me, Gee. See you next week. Well, hopefully, I have my regular co-host back. <laughs>